There was more VAR calls than there is minutes in a football match during Rangers against Kelly, but Ali McCoy has voiced his opinion on the matter. Welcome back, guys, to Fog Football. There was a lot of VAR calls, and if you want to see our thoughts on it, then you check it out. There's loads on the channel. There's a million feds on the channel. Get it checked out. Get it checked out. The new. But what's Ali McCoy talking about? Of course, it's old firm week. There's a lot of hype, but he's talking about the VAR decisions on Sunday, 1 o'clock. Mainly between... One o'clock and about 23 minutes past one o'clock because that was, I mean, it was mental, man. I've never seen VAR used so much, man. Like, it was biz it was bizarre. But the, the Ibrox icon is utterly convinced that David Dickinson, aided by his VAR official, came to the right call, but believes the handball on the line from Dujon Sterling's shot is the type of double jeopardy which is so cruel on the team. Um, up front, Alan McCoy, he ruined the decision which led to Joe Wright receiving an early bath and come on, it's 4-1 defeat to Rangers on Sunday. I mean, it's a tough one. It's one of those ones where, it's a, I mean, the, the law is that's what happens, but, you know, it's not, he hasn't meant it. It's just, a, it's just unlucky at the end of the day, but I am one of those firm believers where, you know, if you handle the ball for going in, then, yeah, it's, it has to be a red, especially if you've cost it. I mean, it's like Tavernier, right? The own goal. It hits off ha Tav's hand and goes in. You know, if it hits off Tav's hand, right, and he's clearly kept it for going in the back of the net, I mean, could you really, you can't complain if Tav gets sent off there. So what you could argue is it's actually better for us that actually went into the back of the net because if, if, if he handballed that and it went wide for a corner, You'd be like, holy shit, we could be down to 10 men and a penalty to Kelly. And then what would have happened in that game? <laughs> I think it would have um, been mental. But Derek McKinn's side, he watched Tavernier miss the assault and penalty. However, the light blues proved too strong against the 10 men. And pff, tell you what, like, that, that was crucial though, because if, if Rangers didn't go down, if Kelly, sorry, didn't go down to 10 men, what would have happened? You know, I, I'm not too convinced that Rangers would have got the job done, that's for sure. But I tell you what, man, it was it was a tough, it was a tough ass game, tough ass game because Kelly, you know, were defending relatively well. We started well, but I don't know, man. That that's, that first half was just awful. See, from like the first VAR call to then when we went behind, right up until we scored with Silva. Like what were, what were Rangers doing, man? It was absolute, absolute freaking. Mince and I'm glad he gets sent off, but again, I think you can see why it's harsh. But McCoy did go on to say it's probably the letter of the law, but I think it's very harsh. I don't look at it through blinkers, I can open my eyes and see it for what it is. Rangers head to Celtic Park on Saturday, and we know a win will breathe new life into their push for Premiership title glory. So McCoy giving his thoughts there on the title fight. Um, yeah, I mean, pfft, this game is going to be mental. On Saturday, like it's gonna, as much as like it, it's it's mad, it's mad, because it, no matter what the result, win, loss, or draw, there's going to be one side that's going to be fucking raging about the result. Um, yeah, and if you want to check out our opinion on the referees and all that good stuff that were announced for the match, that of course was uh, uploaded yesterday. So go check that out, and there'll be other news, I'm sure, revolving this old firm game and before it, after it. Shake it all about, man. There's going to be everything regarding that old firm game. But anyway, guys, that's Ali McCoy talking about the Rangers' decisions. Will there be some controversial decisions in this old firm? You bet your bottom dollar there's going to be some controversial decisions in this old firm. That's all I'm going to say. Anyway, till next time, peace.